Hello everyone, welcome to Apple and iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to review an app uh, and then how to purchase products in your car while using the cargo products that you are sen selling if you were approved through an account. Uh, in the description below I have a referral link where you can sign up to your own cargo products for your car by submitting the application and then once you're approved it will send you a box and as well as email verifying that the box will be sent to you of the product materials. Go ahead and check my other video and what is cargo and what is the unboxing process. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So while you're in my car, you're going to you know, come across and see a product in the middle of my dashboard, which is going to look like this. And then once this product is open, which will look like something like this. And then once you see this product that's in the car, uh, you will see that there's Pringles, there's a Fire Energy, there's Extras, uh, Spearmint Gum there. Um, what else? There's Skittles, there's Quest Bar. There's actually uh, iPhone cables, lightning cables in the car to be sold. As well, there might be Altroids as well as the independent chocolate at the bottom center there. Um, and as well as there, it looks like crispy treats. So basically when you see this in someone's individual car, um, in the car of you Uber, Via, or having a Lyft car, and then you see this product in the car, you may wonder and how to say, hey, what are those products? Uh, technically, they're free to me as a driver, but not free to the customer. The customer will have to pay a certain price to purchase these items. So for an example, the code that is down there in the bottom, 6438, that is my personal code. So when you try to visit that code, what they'll need to do is not visit uberglowcar.com, they would actually visit a website that is not listed on this uh, box, but on the original box, it's called cargo.menu. So if we go ahead and open a browser, and then we type in cargo, dot menu that's it no dot com no www etc as you can see the logo is already appearing to the left of the cargo press enter this one comes up you put in my code just like in that picture six four three eight you can go ahead and select on view products everybody has a different code so once you put in that code that code will have specific products of that person in that car that has this display this is normally displayed on their armrest of the car. So if you go ahead and press view products. Ah, this is another thing. Uh, I have not done this. So basically I need to activate my code. So to activate my code, I would have to go ahead and text cargo box ID to cargo at 347-218-9151. Uh, so basically this is just an automated process. So why don't I go ahead and let me open this up so you can see what it actually looks like. I'm going to do some airplane mirroring for my iPhone. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and move this over to the left. And then we're going to go ahead and put in this phone number. 314-218-9151. And then I would want to put in my code, which my code is... Uh, just to revalidate 6438 and that is correct go ahead and send now it will activate my box if you do not do this and a passenger tries to go to cargo.menu and does not work is because your device has not been activated uh, once this is activated that means your passengers in your car will be able to purchase products and they purchase the products through their cell phone or their laptop or through their computer if they're using their own independent Wi-Fi or yours uh, providing a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, once we go ahead and send that code over, uh, as you notice, I put in the wrong <laughs> area code. <laughs> All right, so I was gonna edit this video, but I'm not going to. We're just gonna do this live and keep going. 219-218-9151. Thanks for anybody out there who grabbed that card and say, hey, I think you typed that wrong. 
So six, four, three, eight. So that's going to three, four, seven, two, one, eight, nine, one, five, one. I'm going to go ahead and put in my box number, which is six, four, three, eight is listed. Oops. And then send. Uh, now, hopefully I will get a response. There it is. Great. Thanks for confirming your Carbo box ID. So there it is. Uh, there is no app required to download, no cash allowed, be safe, do not give products while driving, and watch these videos to see how Cargo works. Uh, we're not going to watch the videos because I'm just going to walk you through the process. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and back this out. We're going to close this window. Yeah, there's my kid. She just graduated. Uh, are we done with this? Uh, really? Actually, no, we're not. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down here. So now we have been already activated, or my box has been activated. So it says inactive here. We're going to erase this. We're going to go back to having the passenger type in cargo dot menu on their mobile device or their computer. If they have Wi-Fi connectivity, there you go. So now you want to go ahead and um, put this in, put in my code, which is 6438. And then you want to select on view products. These are the products that I'm physically selling my car. Look at that. Skittles is completely free. Emergency Stain Rescue is completely free. Ooh, even that candy bar is free. Check that out. Uh, oh, even the Cheez-Its is free. So does that mean that you can just pass them out and hand them to your customers? No. They actually physically have to order it through their device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to airplay my um, iPad Pro here. And we're going to make this order purchase through the device. Uh, iPad should appear hopefully in a moment. Uh, uh, yep, there it goes. Oops, that's not the one. There it is. Oh, it's a little tiny iPad there. iPad Pro here. Well, it's 10.5. So let's open this up. So this is going to be live ordering, purchasing, etc. So we're going to go here. This is my phone. I'm a driver. I'm driving. Whoa, that's too big there. Oh, I just got to find out how to minimize this. Okay, so as I'm going to say, I'm not going to edit this video. We're just going to go on the fly and see where we go. Uh, all right. So we're going to go ahead and say I'm driving for Uber right now. Okay. I'm in my account. On the right-hand side, it's going to have my iPad Pro or my their iPhone. So they're going to just basically go to Safari. They're going to go to their browser and type in cargo that menu and then go. It's going to pop up on their iPad or, I, or their Android or so forth. They're going to go ahead and put in their code, which is my code, 6438. They're going to hit view products. Uh, it doesn't really look that great. Okay, so as I'm driving or so, and whatever the example is, I'm not online, but say if I was online, Cargo is going over here. They put in their code. They're looking at your specific container box that you have in your possession. So for an example, let's go ahead and open this up again. Let's open up this Cargo Fill. So they're physically seeing this product, which is on your armrest in your car. At the very bottom center here, these two little... Uh, slots are USB slots. Uh, they're USB 2.0 slots. They illuminate. So people can go ahead and plug in their USB devices into that. Or they can buy the lightning bolt cable so they can plug it in there and say, hey, I'm going to charge my device now. And now I have a cable for later. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want to purchase, um, let's just purchase Skittles. Uh, I shouldn't really be eating Skittles, but I'm going to touch Skittles. Okay. Now it says in the cart in the very bottom center, one. So we're going to go ahead and select on. Uh, we're going to also do this little red wipe emergency stain rescue. Okay. Don't know what that is. I received it in the box. I think it's just a, a wipey. I think that's what it technically is. Uh, all these products here that are listed is everything that I have in my container. Uh, don't look, uh, if you look on this uh, picture here, this is just an example picture. The Pringles, I do not get Pringles in my package container. Uh, Advil, I do not have Advil, which is totally be awesome because I do have passengers always asking for that. 
I do have Altoids and so forth. So basically what happens is on the right hand side, that's the customer. They're going to select on the checkout at the bottom center. Uh, once they hit that, bear with me. There you go. Thank you. Your driver will receive a text, which I'm going to get a text in a moment. Let me make sure the volume's up. There you go. Alerts. You made a sale. One of Skittles, 100 calorie. Mm, I did also do the white, but I did not get a text for that. So let me go through here. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I open that text, and it basically says there, Cargo, you made a sale, one of Skittles, 100 calorie, one of emergency stain rescue wipes. So basically what I would do in my vehicle is take out and open this device, this cargo fill device, open it up, and provide the customer a bag of Skittles and a bag of stain rescue wipes. So now that I know what to provide to the customer because I receive a text for it. Now on the right side, it purchased that without even asking the person's name, address, or any information, which is totally awesome because you know how individuals are gonna be like, oh, I gotta fill out my name, I gotta fill out my address, you know, this is BS, forget it, I'm not gonna buy it. So we're gonna do this again by going to cargo that menu, and we're gonna actually purchase it with money or funds. And then we're gonna put in our code, which is 6438. We're going to hit view products. Uh, let's see, what is a little less cost effective here? Uh, gum. Yeah, I would love to have some gum. Uh, or Altoids. Mm, they're both the same price. So let's say Altoids. Altoids will last a little longer. So we're going to say Altoids. We're going to go ahead and select on the bottom center there with the checkout. Now it says here, how would you like to pay? PayPal or pay the $199? Mm, Actually, according to a demo that I've seen, did not show this. What basically the demo did show was that you can pay through Apple Pay or uh, NFC through your Android device. Uh, this is either has been updated and they probably don't do that anymore. Oh, what it could very well be is maybe because on this iOS device, I'm running um, the beta version of 11.02. So let me do that for my iPhone. I'm only running 10.32. And let's see if that makes a difference. So cargo dot menu, because maybe on the beta version of uh, six four three eight, on the beta version of eleven probably does not have Apple Pay enabled. So we're gonna put in my code, which is six four three eight. We're gonna go ahead and hit view products. These are the products that appear as normal. I have Apple Pay on my phone. So I'm just going to select Altoids. I'm going to select on Checkout at the bottom. Yeah, still says Pay. Oh, there you go. See how it shows on my iPhone? It shows Apple Pay, also Pay with PayPal, and Pay199. Uh, I don't know what the Pay199 is. I think it's just telling me I'm going to Pay199. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see that it does not show Apple Pay, even though Apple Pay is enabled on my iPad Pro. But in iOS 11, probably it's not. So we're going to go ahead and select on Apple Pay. So, Or you can go down here and enter the credit card information. But if it's already in your phone, you should just use that. So we'd say Apple Pay. There's a card. It's asking for my uh, pay with touch. So we're going to go ahead and pay with touch. Processing. Should be approved in a second. There you go. Great. It says thank you. Now I receive a text as a driver, I will look at my text and it says, oh, this person purchased Altoids, Peppermint, Smalls. All right, great. Um, so that means I technically purchased these three products for myself. But if you're a customer, you know what your items are for free. So like here, everybody's car is a little different. So if we go here, we select go, and then if we put in our cargo referral code now this pops up you can have the customer just visit it it's not going to ask any credit information or so forth your name or so forth. as you can see it done it through my apple pay if i did it through by entering a credit card number it probably would ask you what is your address etc 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 if it's already pre-filled in there or even though they just decide to get a free bag of skittles uh i wonder can you do oh my god 
Yes, you can do up to seven items. Not that I'm going to purchase all these, but I want to see. So there's not, ooh, eight, 10, 12. So there's not a technical limit. Well, eight, six, 10, because 10 come in a pack, eight come in a pack. This should be eight, oh, six. So basically, someone who may be drunk or so forth uh, can select so many of these products all at once, I wonder. Look, 89 items on my shopping cart. Let me just hit checkout. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Skittles, 100 calorie. The first three are free. The next four, you have to pay for a dollar each. Ah, see? The rescue wipes here are nine of them. Uh, they're supposed to be free, but they're $1.49. Ah, so they do charge you if you kind of go a little extreme there. Uh, but I'm not going to buy this. But, hey, that's an idea, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Look, iPhone charge cord is only $12.99 for six of them? That's hell of a deal. Wow, check that out. It can't be 12, five, no, 12, 5, and 8. No, it can't be that. So it would have to be 12, 5 hour energy times 399. Yes, that's why. Here, my subtotal is 282.14. Uh, if you have a customer that says, hey, I accidentally purchased this and I didn't want to do it and they charged my card, uh, I would advise them to contact support. Uh, that's the only way to do it. Uh, they do have a support number, but I think the support number that's provided to the drivers is only for the drivers, so not for the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. So I'm not going to purchase that. But that is interesting. All right, so hopefully this helps you out in how to use the app. Uh, well, actually, it's not an app. It's a website that you uh, put in the promo code so you can purchase the items, and the items are yours to go as as needed uh, and then that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions or so forth and how to use this further uh, please feel free to ask uh, I would like to see what your questions and so forth are and then kind of go with the thought of uh, is this worth it is it too much to uh, purchase or items or so forth uh, you know I'm gonna go ahead and close all those windows so basically by visiting cargo.menu, you can actually enter the individual driver's code and they can actually get free free bag of Skittles, which is great. I think that's a promotional offer, which certain items are free because they want to get a hold of what is this vending machine in your car or how does this work and so forth. And I already showed you how to purchase it. That's how it is. I can't forget that I have an Altoise Skittles and the Rescue Wipe or whatever that bag thing is so then I can uh, see what that is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly uh, what that is actually. So let me go ahead and turn off my AirPlay and my device. I think it's already turned off. Yes, it is. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what my device physically looks like. Um, so let's do AirPlay there. Um, let's open this up. Screen mirror. 5k uh, should pop up in a moment hopefully again this is iOS 11 so it's kind of glitchy and it does not always work so bear with me all right I turned that off turn it on come on yeah, it doesn't seem like iOS 11 does not want me to screen mirror. Okay, we're going to go ahead and undo the screen mirror there. We're going to do it for my iPhone. Now my iPhone. Um, bear with me as I'm trying to do this live and so forth, so I am not needing to do this. All right, so there's the device. Um, let me open my camera app. Let me get my cargo, which is in my house.
Thanks for your patience, guys, because uh, I'm not looking to edit this at all. So here is the device. Let me turn on the light here. All right, so there's my uh, cargo. So there's my CO6438, as I mentioned. Those are the USB ports there. Uh, there's the website that the actual individual or passenger in your car would need to put in. Uh, so they can get the free products. As you can see, there's a Cheez-It, there's an Oreo, there's Altoid Extra Spearmint. The cables, the cables are black. Uh, there's four of them in there. Five energy bars, uh, Skittles. Uh, they're like mini packs of Skittles. Uh, then you have the candy bar, the independent candy bar that's down here. Uh, it actually opens up from here. And then that's basically the products. Uh, so there's nothing really different from the picture that I've showed you except the picture actually should this show Pringles I don't have a Pringles oh yeah there's the other thing here too these are the the wipes or the stain rescue so this is I have purchased this so that's mine uh, I did purchase the Skittles and then what else did I purchase and Altoids so those are mine I have receipts for those so that's great uh, they have another divider here that means I guess for to keep this or maybe you can resize it and then put other things in here as well to make it fit uh, now as you notice I have one bag less one less Skittles and one less uh, patch here uh, they do send you a box in my other video you will see how much they actually send you so that's already sent this is the USB cable that's in the back that is attached to it uh, I'm going to plug this into my computer. I have an iMac 5K. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try to see if this actually illuminates down here at the bottom. So bear with me for a moment here. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. It's just a standard USB, so it should work as normal. Yeah, there you go. They have a little hashtag there, get cargo. That's cool. The USBs. And there's an illuminated light. I don't know if this light looks different. Oh, yeah. There's actually LEDs. Four LEDs. So it's a pretty good product, especially if you're hungry or so forth. You can eat one of these, but then the thing is you would have to pay for it. If it's free in the app and so forth, then go ahead and uh, get it for free. Why not? It's free. Um, you know, no questions asked. If it starts asking you to pay for it, I think it was selling these for 99 cents, which is not a bad price. Uh, the Spearman was selling for 199 I think at Target or something, they sell it for 250 So that's a pretty good comparable price. Um, five Energy, I think it was like four bucks. In the stores, I've seen it five, six bucks. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to put it in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe as well as like this video so you can tell me if you enjoy uh, watching these kind of videos that I post up for promotional products from vendors that see me on YouTube to try to do a uh, full review and overview and etc. All right, uh, go ahead and watch my other videos and how I have this displayed in my car, how it's all wrapped up, and how it works from that point. Thanks for watching Amplified Genius on the YouTube channel. Have a great night.